Okay, now that we have the coupling constant values that we determined on the previous video, we're going to use those to turn the process around and create a splitting tree. And we'll start again with the cis product and its pentet. And now I'm calling it a pentet because the two coupling constant values are the same and that will give us a true pentet. And so what we do is we start with the center we start with the center of the signal, and then we're going to go out equally in both directions. And this JAB is equal to 2.7 hertz. And then we just keep repeating that for each of the other three hydrogens. And I arbitrarily started with the HBs and then finished with the HCs, but it really doesn't matter because the couplings are all the same. Because the couplings are all the same, what happens here is that they keep meeting at these intersections. And so as a result, we get this nice pentet uh, that I've shown here. I've redrawn it here. And so you get those elements of the pentet with the 1 to 4 to 6 to 4 to 1 uh, heights on it. So again, 1 to 4 to 6 to 4 to 1 heights. And if you compare this to the simulated spectrum, what we have here is from an online handout, and I've done it for both a true pentet, which is what we have above, and then what I did to make this so-called corrupted pentet is that I made the two coupling constant values similar, but not entirely the same. And so you can start to see that there are these not quite pure elements to this pentet. And that's because the two coupling constants in reality aren't quite the same. And if you're curious about the handout, if you go to my website, and you go specifically to the Chem 24 webpage and you click on reduction and you scroll down and you scroll down, you see we have here this splitting simulation for the methine hydrogens of CHOH. So now we're gonna go back to our drawing. So that's again what I just showed you is where to find this on the website. The full handout looks like this. So it shows the cis product, and you can actually see the coupling constant values that I used. And then it also shows the trans product. And we're going to deal with the trans product next. So again, the trans product is more complicated because the two couplings aren't the same. And again, we're going to start with the middle of the signal being HA, and it's generally advisable for sanity to start with the larger of the two coupling constants to get the elements spread out before you then do the smaller couplings. You could do it the other way, but it's not as conducive to sanity. And so again, we're going to do one of the JACs, then the second JAC in each case, and if we just stopped at this point, we'd end up with just a regular triplet. Now we're going to take each element of the triplet and we're going to split it further. And these are smaller couplings. So there's the triplet imposed on the triplet for one, for the second one, and for the third one. And if we carry that down, again, you can see that you have this triplet of triplets. So you have a 1 to 2 to 1, 2 to 4 to 2, 1 to 2 to 1. And again, if you look at the simulated spectrum from that same web page I showed you earlier, you can see that again you have the triplet of triplets.